opportunity record in ACT CRM can be used to keep track of your sales pipeline and the workload of your sales representatives. In this video, we're going to explore opportunities and tracking your sales cycle in ACT CRM. Let's begin by examining the opportunities area. Currently, I'm looking at a list view of all of my open opportunities. To examine the details of any opportunity, just locate it and click its name from the list view. This is the detail view of an opportunity. First, notice the status area. This displays the current state of the opportunity, whether it's open or closed or inactive. Below that is the process and stage area. Here, it's important to note that the process level is higher than the stage level. Each process will contain a subset of stages. And when you select a process, you'll be able to see the stages beneath. Generally, the first stage in a sales cycle is listed at the top, and the final stage concludes the cycle at the bottom of the list. Each of these stages consists of two parts, the name of the stage and the probability percentage that the opportunity will close with a win at this stage. For example, this opportunity currently sits in an initial communication stage. At this specific stage, it's going to show a probability of 10% that we will win this sale at this point. When I advance this opportunity to a future stage, such as presentation, the probability increases to 40%. You can use the default processes and stages that come with ACT CRM or you can even set up your own processes, stages, and probability figures to match your own opportunity cycles. In the totals area on the left, you'll see both a total field and a weighted field. Both of these fields are read-only because their amounts are fed from a combination of the products and services tab as well as the probability percentage. To add any products to this opportunity, let's go to the products and services tab. Currently, I have three products added to this opportunity, but to add additional ones, I'll click the Add Product button. This opens the Add Edit Product window. On this screen, you can set up details like the name of the product, its item number, the quantity that you're intending to sell, the cost per item, the price per item, and then adjusted prices for discounts. Now, keep in mind a couple things. While you can list the quantity of items on an opportunity, ACT CRM does not track your inventory. Also keep in mind that the cost field represents what it costs you to manufacture or provide the product and service. Price field represents the amount at which you're selling it. It's good to know the difference between these two, perhaps so you can offer discounts without losing money on the deal. If I click OK, this product will now be added to the opportunity. The weighted field is computed by figuring the probability percentage of the total amount of this opportunity. And as the opportunity progresses from one stage to the next, you'll see that this weighted total will increase. Contacts tab lets you assign an opportunity to any number of contacts and act. And once you do this, this opportunity record will then appear on the opportunity tab for those contacts. Finally, you can use the Act Insight button on the left if you'd like to see a graphical representation of all of your opportunities. The Act Insight feature is only available on the standard and expert tiers of Act CRM. But with this feature, you can see timelines based on your overall business health, or you can switch to your sales metrics to see charts for your sales reps performance as well as which products are most in demand.